Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. And this is a reading for my Capricorns. So let's get straight into it. Yahweh, I come to you in prayer asking that you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw off this reading, I ask that you send them right back to where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. If you are working on a CDL, which is like driving trucks or stuff like that, you are going to pass a test and the money that you spent on it will not go in vain. So congratulations if you are out there and you're working on your CDL. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Just know that there is a fire sign who really wants you back, like, real bad. <laughs> they stuck on you real bad. So, what does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What is that card? I felt something flip. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Y'all got a feeling that it's about this fire sign I was just talking about. This person is going to come back into your life, right? Texting you, calling you, DMing you, emailing you, whatever they got to do to get in contact with you. This person is going to confess their feelings to you or confess that they want to be, you know, want to try again or want to be friends first and work up to a relationship or just say fuck it and just jump into a whole new relationship with you it's somebody that you have already broken up with already moved on from don't even think about don't give a fuck about okay yeah yeah mm -hmm. but this person is hoping that the time away from you and the time apart from each other is what's gonna make you want them even more this person feels like there's some type of god's gift I don't know if they're very attractive. They may be very attractive. And they may get their way with other women and other men. But I don't think they get their way with you. So this is somebody who is a narcissist. That's why their ego is super big. But they still have feelings for you in some weird way. Even though you don't even hit this person up. You don't do nothing. You don't watch this person's story. You don't check up on them. You don't worry about them. But this person's always worried about you, always checking up on you and always checking up on your story and stuff. But this person is hoping that they can manifest you back into their life. This person is also probably going through a bad breakup or probably in a relationship where they're not that happy and they see that they could have been happier with you. But this person fucked up and chose somebody else over you. Or you just decided to let them be where they was at. And you continue to move on and do you. <laughs> now, this person is obsessed with you. Don't get me wrong. They even if you choose not to like, in, even if you choose not to deal with this person, this is somebody who will forever check up on you, forever, you know, look you up and see what you got going on, forever think about you in their past time. This is you are the one that always gets away. But do they learn their lesson? No. This person may also have health problems or an STD. You just can't really trust nobody who is obviously as flighty as this person. They're very passionate and very sexual, and that's the truth. And this person is, I don't really feel like it's non-committal. And if they are committal, they're committed to somebody currently. Okay? This may also be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But this person, literally, I don't know which God they may, um, that they may serve, but they be praying to God to try to get you back. And God be like, no. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So be aware that somebody <laughs> is waiting on you to come back to them. And this person has not healed. Okay. I haven't. What's the hidden truth regarding this situation for Capricorn? What is the hidden truth regarding this situation for Capricorn? What is the hidden truth? All I heard is I can't breathe without you. Well, baby, they need to get them an inhaler. <laughs> What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? What is the hidden truth for my Capricorns? What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? 
Like I said, this person is waiting on a sign from you. They're waiting on you to hit them back up, text them back, call them back, return their email, return their call. Don't do it. Allow this person to sit and wither, waiting on you to come back. And don't come back. Don't allow yourself to lower yourself and stoop to their level, which is garbage. Okay. But anyway, this person is afraid to contact you. And they probably have contacted you in the past and you probably probably strung them along and then ghosted them or you just probably just didn't even respond. You just read it and you kept it moving. But this person is knowing that they're going to get rejected or they're just afraid of the rejection. Okay? Because you got to keep in mind, this person is a narcissist. They're not used to being told no. They're not used to somebody looking at them and being like, I actually can live without you. They're used to people falling over them, fawning over them, doing dumb things to keep them in their life. But you're not like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you are this person's spiritual lesson. See, when the Most High gives you a blessing, you hold it down. But this person didn't do that. They let it go. So they need to let you go. This person does have a weird way of thinking and they really, really, really do have their hopes up when it comes to being with you again. They really think that if they keep working hard at it and they keep on badgering you and showing up here and there and here and there and here and there, that eventually one day you two will be back together. But this person is as dumb as a box of rocks, I think. <laughs> Why would you make that decision? Unless you want to waste your time. Then I would say go ahead and be with this fire sign or this air sign who is going to be in one minute and out the next. But this person is somebody who is flighty. They don't like people to get close to them because they don't want people to truly know who they truly are. They don't like people to know their flaws. They don't like people to see about them to the point where they want them. They, they actually are being told to change. This person is somebody who just wants to continue to live their life the way that they've been living it. And they want you to be okay with that. I think not. But this person does, you know, look at old photos and look at old messages and text messages and like and stuff like that. This person plays conversations over and over in their head, just keeping and holding on to memories between the two of you. What they need to do is let go. Okay, let go and do some inner healing because obviously this person is not suitable to be in a relationship with nobody. Okay. But they will come in expressing their love to you and hoping that, you know, you accept them with open arms. When you need to accept them with a fist. Because what? Ew. Give me some love messages for my Capricorns. Current love messages for Capricorn. Current love messages for Capricorn. Current love messages. Y'all, that's a lot. But we're going to see. All right now for some of you all you may be currently dealing with somebody that you know you're trying to hold it down for like you're trying to see the good in this person you're trying to basically love this person throughout all of it when you really need to just let this person go and learn from your mistake which is being with this person and allow this person to learn and heal from their mistakes which is not being a good person towards you this person that you may be currently talking to is somebody that you are just pouring all your love and affection into. But what are you benefiting from it? See, this person is very deceptive. You can't trust this person. And they got the nerve to be controlling. Also, they kind of make fun of what you believe in spiritually. Why would you want to be with somebody who's a who makes fun of who makes fun of your who plays in your face when it comes to your religion? You can't trust this person. They they can be deceptive. You're wasting your time with with, falling, with even putting all your love into this person because this person is not giving you the same love and affection back. They're just wasting space in your life, taking up room in your future. This person's a walking red flag, and the thing that's that the thing that makes them the most of the most of a red flag is that they're very one sided. This is somebody who. Will we'll talk to you crazy, but if you talk to them in the slightest bit of a higher tone, they telling you what they don't like. Oh, oh, look here. I don't like a lot of things, but I put up with a lot because of you. This is somebody who wouldn't even put up with the smallest things for you. So it's about time you take my advice and understand that you need to trust in yourself 
and let this bozo woman or man go okay okay and start talking to somebody new because first of all them thinking that your spiritual beliefs is a joke is a no-no is a no-no because say if you was one of them type of people who put people in freezers or does black magic on people who think that you're a joke i don't think it would be funny then would it no so if this person doesn't even believe in your gifts what makes you think that they believe in you? Seriously. New love for my Capricorn singles. 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 New love. New love for my Capricorn singles. Y'all, that just fell out all over the place. I feel like for you right now, Capricorn, you may not be focusing on love or you may just be dating around. But right now, you're really focused on your finances. You're trying to rebuild yourself, get back on track, get back to the bag, get back to the plan. And I understand that sometimes you do have to put dating on hold to make sure that you got enough funds to uphold. Okay? Okay? But just know very soon somebody is going to come in who does believe in religious and spiritual things that won't look at you like a joke, who won't laugh at you, who won't make you feel like you're just somebody that is weird or off or just delusional. This person is going to be the one. They're not going to be a player. You're going to feel very free in this relationship because this person is not going to be controlling, nor are they going to try to change you. They're going to be down with whatever you're down with okay this person is not going to be controlling they're going to make an effort they're not going to be somebody who just half ass is shit like if you need something done that day they're gonna get it done that day okay and this person is going to be very clingy and codependent on you so you don't have to worry about them straying away and playing in somebody else's garden okay period period and you may actually fall in love with this person and be thankful that the person that you let that you're letting go or not going back to is left in the past. Okay. Let's get you some advice. Yeah, because this air sign or this fire sign, this person is a natural born backstabber. They will sell and sow you a tale that they will never ever complete. They will sell you a dream that will never ever come true. They will lie to you and tell you what you want to hear, even if it's a lie. And this person always doing things in the dark, so you will never know who this person truly is. Protect your heart, protect your funds, and protect your sanity. Because this person, you're going to lose your mind trying to keep up with them. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Yeah, and you're going to get your heart broken. You're going to end up breaking your own heart trying to love somebody who don't need to be loved. Who don't just des- no correction you're gonna break your own heart trying to love somebody who don't deserve to be loved because they don't deserve to be loved period give me some advice for my capricorns yeah give me some advice for my capricorns i feel like you're given to a situation where you need to did it this person don't deserve your love when they come back around for the ones who are currently single and exes are trying to pop back up and do, 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 hit you up they don't deserve your love point blank period give me some tea yeah and find you need to find somebody who loves you properly because this person ain't they're not and they also cheat and sleep with everybody everybody anyone and everybody you can't trust you can't trust them you can't trust them with your heart. You can't trust them with your health. You can't trust them with your sanity. You can't trust them with your money. You can't trust them in your life. Mm-hmm. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Yeah, and this person's an opportunist. They may have a baby mama that's putting them on child support. And if you currently are 
um if you currently do have children yourself and you have and your baby daddy is the one that's trying to come back and fuck up your life and and string you along and say you this dream of a happy family don't fall for it because they just don't they're only coming back so they can slow you down this person may also do a lot of fraud and a lot of scams and this person also thinks that they're very slick okay they think they can pull one over on you they think that your kind heart makes you a dumb person but really your kind heart brings you the ultimate protection from people like this okay now when this person does come around don't have sex with them i don't care how attractive they are how charming they are how sensual they are how whatever they are don't give it up because you're going to end up getting pregnant or you're going to if you're a man you're going to end up getting a baby put on you that was never even yours it's somebody that's wanting to come back into your life to slow you down. Okay? If you open your legs, you're going to end up with a baby. Or you're going to end up getting something put on you just out of revenge. So you can't take off like that car we hear in the background. See, somebody is trying to come back into your life to keep you from taking off. Or it's not even, even, even if they're not trying to keep you from taking off, they're trying to be able to be there when you take off. Mm -hmm. They want to put themselves in position so that when you are in position, they don't have to do nothing but sit back. Mm -hmm. This is giving a lazy <sighs> opportunist vibes. Let's see about your money, though. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Aw. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Okay, so before I even start shuffling, you're being told that you can do it. Just continue to believe in yourself no matter what you may be going through in your life. Understand that everything starts and begins with you. Confirmation. Don't nothing move until you move. And don't nothing stop until you stop. So, just keep going and believe in yourself. No matter what. Okay? No matter even if you don't have no support. I support you. And that's all that fucking matters. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Some angel messages for Capricorn. Because at the end of the day, great success is surrounding you. All you gotta do is put yourself in position. That's it. All you gotta do is keep your mind focused. That's it. All you got to do is get your body right. That's it. Okay? And stay focused. Let's get a takeaway message for Capricorn. What message does Capricorn need to take away from this? What message does Capricorn need to take away from this? Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. If you're thinking about getting your boobs done, I'm just seeing somebody on the table and it not going right. Um, hold off until you find a, a well-reviewed surgeon, somebody who, you know, is well-known. You know, the work is very well, very good. And you know, the healing from other, like, other clients went well. Because for somebody out there, you're going to end up getting on a surgical table and you may not pull through or you may get the worst botched job in your life. So just make sure you're doing your research before you go under the knife, okay? Because it's never that deep, okay? And especially for your, for your life to be taken like that over some titties, okay? Anyway, write a letter. This could be just, I would say, what I'm picking up on is write a letter to your future partner, right? In that letter, you explain how you see this person physically, how they treat you, how they think about you, what they do in life, and just write them a love letter, okay? And you, when you're done with this love letter, you just tuck it away somewhere, right? This will be you manifesting your person. And when this person does come along, you're going to take out that letter and you're going to read it mm -hmm, to yourself. And if that person that comes into your life does not give 
what your letter specifically said next. We're not wasting time with people nowadays. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's about time we just stop trying to weed through the weeds. If it ain't what you want, you're not going to waste your time on it. Period. Anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading. I hope that you got everything that you needed to know. Just be aware of people trying to come and slow you down. Or just trying to stick around for the fun times and for the good times that's going to happen in the future. And know that somebody is going to come into your life, right? That is going to be worth your time. But make sure you write your letter so you know what you truly want in a partner. So you can stop wasting your time with people who are not supposed to be your partner. Who are not cut. Okay? Who are not making that cut. Okay? Okay. Also list your non-negotiables. Like if you don't like people who smoke cigarettes, write that. My person doesn't smoke cigarettes at all. Be specific. Because if you're not, you're going to keep getting this shit. Okay. Anyway, I want to thank you all for the love and support and the donations that you all do send. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Also, if you want to find me on social media or give me on a phone call for a personal reading, everything is in my description box below. Remember, Capricorn, ain't nobody you so stun on a dirty ass. And love yourself as much as I love you because, baby, you deserve all your flowers. Bye. Mm -hmm.